How's it going, everyone? It is currently March 5th, 2022. And uh, when was the last time I actually checked up on this game? I know it was February. It was February 17th. So definitely, definitely uh, didn't kind of rush this one. But I mean, right now it's actually the perfect time for it. Last time I said it was the perfect time, but it was like Friday at 11 p.m. There are only 300 people online, but now it's 1,000. The player kind of showed up immediately, which is a huge W, by the way. The last two Black Ops 2 videos I did, it took like forever. So let's see, TDM still most populated, FFA doing really well, and everything else, everyone, everything else has literally zero players. Wow, okay, I guess we're playing TDM again. And we really got to a game. That's that's a really good start. Sometimes it just take a while, but now we just gotta pray that this lobby isn't hacked. Seems okay. Huh, that was very unexpected. I'm welcoming this. Can you come back out? Yeah, we've gone to a game of Raid, and unexpectedly enough, there seems to be no modders. I mean, I guess we won't really be able to see us like final kill cam, but right now it's looking pretty good. Let me watch this guy. Seems okay. I'm not playing that well, but that's why I didn't really play Black Ops 2 today. I played a bit of Black Ops Cold War this morning. I tried to get my sniper skills in. Uh, I did pretty poorly, but you know what? It was worth it. I, I just instinctively stimmed. I'm still no signs of hacks. Everyone has a perfectly normal KD. I wish I had a less normal KD, but it's okay. How did he kill me so fast? Oh, that's on the Kip Fire class. All right then, sure. Gran Turismo 7 came out yesterday. I don't have like a PS5. I, my my newest PlayStation console is the Vita, so I don't. It's not like I can really try it, but I've heard great stuff about it. I I, I might honestly just buy it if I buy a PS5 at some point. But yeah, looking good so far. Actually, a solid lobby. I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Ooh, Nuketown. All right. Hopefully, no one backs out. That's a modder join. That would suck. This is pre-order bonus reward. Did I get this because I, um... Alright, here's the thing, right? When I bought Advanced Warfare Used, I got the Day 1 Edition because it was, like, kind of cheaper, I guess. Probably because it wasn't, like, the normal box art, right? So, I thought, screw it, I'm gonna buy it. I tried it in the codes just for fun, and they actually worked. Maybe, maybe that's why. I don't know why else I could possibly have those. But, yeah, that's just a guess. I'm gonna try the Ballista. Screw it. For, unfortunately, this is Black Ops 2 current day, so it's post-nerf. DSR, so it's kind of ass. I'm not gonna bother with it, I guess. But the Ballista is also just like kind of a hit marker machine if you're not that good at the game, which I'm not. So, really, I didn't hit that. All right, I'm gonna start. Black Ops 2 definitely has some of the easiest sniping in the game, no doubt. Like, if you boot up plutonium, chances are you're probably gonna have a good time sniping, even if you're not that good at the game. Like, I don't know what that was. I could have probably just stayed still and still gotten the kill. Okay, that was nutty. If I would have gone that, I would have actually creamed. Holy shit. What? I have this, like, weird power of just, like, occasionally hitting God to your shots and then just doing the most stupid shit right after. Like, I'd hit, like, a weird wall bang and then I just... Total flopping afterwards. It's such a shame, truly. All right, this is why I have hard scope God as my banner because that's just the truth. Okay, uh, the mic broke. It wasn't what you think it is. Trust me. No way, I'm this bad. I, I definitely need a lot more sniper practice. I might just try sniping when I'm like not recording. Because I I, I know for a fact I'm not gonna record with sniping until I'm like confident that I'm actually. Not gonna get a negative KD while doing so. That's what's happening to me right 90% of the time. Although in Black Ops Cold War, I actually do pretty okay. Plus, I don't even have all the attachments unlocked for the uh, whatever the gun is. I forgot the name of it. The LW3. I had this? That's not a very good tack and search spot, but whatever. I'll, I'll take it. Good enough. It aim assisted me away from them. Okay, now I'm just missing my shots for the hell of it. What the hell was- what, what was that? That was the clearest shot of my life. I, know, I really felt like sniping to be honest. What? <gasps> that should have hit! That should have hit! Take a screenshot when I fired, alright? That should have definitely hit. 
Look at me. Incredible drag scoping. I'm going 7 and 14. Uh, very good. Let's get. What? Faster! I like just barely hit the bus. Is this a prank? I'm getting trolled. Alright, there we go. I'm going 8 and 15. Nice. I'm low key having fun in this lobby, but also I want to find other games just to like see how how full of hackers this game is. I know for a fact I just got lucky. There's no way there's actually this little. Right? Okay, never mind. Just stand off. I'm gonna stay. Now right, two searching for players. Uh they don't look very hackery, but at this point you have no clue. There was one guy who was like max level but like unprestige, so I just assumed that they were like happened to be pretty good at the game. But then they end up just like throwing fucking like jets or whatever, like VTOLs at people. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, this is easily the probably one of the best menus in Call of Duty history. Uh, maybe not best, but definitely most iconic. Like, like, like that shit stays in your brain, you know? Like Infinite Warfare, I personally, personally, I give Infinite Warfare a lot more credit than like ninety percent of people. But I mean, its menus are not very memorable. I don't know why I'm going off of Call of Duty games menus, honestly. But you get the idea. If I hadn't gone stunned there, I would have actually gotten like all of those kills. Like there's nothing. Waypoint out. Great spot. I wonder if there's like really good tactical insertion spots I just don't know about. Ah oh, man, I had to reload. Not really. But still, I, I, I was getting too ahead of myself. Some dude destroyed my attack and said, what a nerd. Wait, I just realized Nuketown was m voted in instead of Standoff. These people are insane. Standoff is easily one of the best maps. And one of, maybe maybe the best. No, not the best. Honestly, in my opinion, Dome from MW3 is probably one of the best maps. Definitely like the closest to being the best map in my book. But even though I'm not 100% sure on it, I just always have fun playing Dome. I don't know what it is about it. Standoff is easily up there, no doubt. Like, maybe right next to it. Oh, this guy's looking kind of weird. 15 and 2. Okay, I want to just go cam. Nothing horrifically bad, but definitely kind of weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to keep watching him. Nah, he seems pretty, he seems pretty legit. I accidentally skipped the kill cam, but I think I think I think he's legit. Just really good at the game. But these days you never know, man. All right, watch this. This is gonna be the ultimate hard scoper move. I'm gonna put put a put a tech insert right here. This guy's name is Exchange Crim Six. Don't. This is my spot. Okay, what did you just do? Okay, that guy is actually legit. I'm just, yeah. I also gonna play again just so I can play on standoff. I can't believe we actually bought a Nuketown instead of standoff. Nuketown, I mean, it's all right, but I mean, come on, standoff. I'm gonna play one more game just so I can play standoff. So I wanna play standoff. Simon on standoff, how lame. Look for another game, let me see if it's full Packers. Huh? What the hell did it just do? Plaza. Is it gonna let me into the Oh, is it doing this thing where it's like you can't dashboard? I can you can definitely dashboard. Man is actively stealing my IP address and all my passwords. I'm not restart my game. I imagine that actually does something on like a 360. That or my game is bugged. I don't know, but it definitely seems like a modder type thing. I'm on a series X though, so it doesn't affect me. Black Ops 2 is the only 360 Call of Duty that I like actively recommend people play on the series X. Everything else is Probably better on 360, but you're like open to more security flaws. Especially for one more game, if it puts me at the same plaza then I'm in the video. Oh yeah, uh, Optic vs. Phase. Today. Uh, uh, they haven't like fought on land in like a thousand days. Oh my gosh, plaza again. Oh, wait, it's actually loading in. Hold on. Uh, synchronizing game settings. There, there's the Treyarch logo. I don't know what's up, but yeah, Optic for space today. I'm really excited. I, I know, I know for a fact I'm gonna be watching. I don't care. I hope Optic win. Totally not by. Oh, what the fuck? All right, I'm not. I'm not playing that. I don't know. But yeah, Optic for space. Uh, all the other shit. 
Uh, Black Ops 2, it's in an okay state. It's in the same state it usually is. Like, you get lucky and you find a good game, or you just get into a loop of the plaza loading screen.